hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video hope everyone's out there is doing great and being well and staying safe so in this video i'm sharing and showing you guys how i water marble my nails but i'm not going to use my natural nails i'm going to use these tips that i made because i have so many fake nails out there and stuff <laughs> And I just didn't want to go to waste and I um, glued them with this q-tip and I used nail glue to glue it on and they work perfectly but normally if you're using if you're doing your manicure you can use tape you can either use scotch scotch tape or the masking tape or you could use the um, the latex that goes around your nails and it peels off so it's up to you guys whether you would like to use it or not. But I'm going to show you how you water marble your nails. You guys always wanted to see it. So I'm finally uploading it for you guys. Sorry it's like so late, but you know how life is. So I have already um, polished the fake nails and I applied the white. And the white I use, if you're curious, is the LA color and it's Energy Source. And I apply two coats to each fake nail. And I like to prep up before so you guys won't, you know, so the video won't be so long. And the polishes I'm going to use is the simple color and it's called YOLO Yellow. You guys seen this in the video. And the Pure Ice Green. And these are the two that I'm going to use. And I have my Q-tips to clean up around the surface of the water. And I have my toothpick to swirl around so you guys can get to see. And you need your, um, you need your, you need a cup full of water. And it could either be room temperature or you can use the bottled water. This one I'm using the, the the tap water. So either way, but just make sure it's not cold and it's not hot or warm. Just it has to be room temperature tap water or room temperature bottled water. Either or. And make sure you get polishes that that really goes well in water because that's important too. So this is my first time using the sinful color and the pure ice together. So we're really, um, really going to see how this works. And all you do is you just take a couple of drops. Make sure it goes in the water. Do not touch the water. You see that yellow? Sometimes you can spread it out too with the Q-tip. Not with the Q-tip, but with the um, toothpick. And you have to make sure that you get polishes, like I said again, that really goes well together. And you know guys, yellow and blue makes green, so... Sometimes when it mixes together, you come out with like three colors. And these are going well together and just make you just keep going until you get a nice cool bullseye and keep going and going and going and going you can keep going as much as you want but I think this is what this is going to be. So I'm just going to take my toothpick and just go around the edges and make sure you wipe it off as you go sometimes to clean it off. And all you do is you just come in like so. And you can make it how you want to. Take it from each side, but make sure you wipe the, the stick off. 
because it has polish on it. So you want to make sure it's not clumpy or anything. And you can do as much as you want. So it's like I said, I have already prepped up my nail. I applied a white base coat and I'm going to go in and I'm going to merge my nail into the water. And you can use any design you want. I mean, you know, you can look and see which design you would like to emerge your nail in the water. And I'm going to come right here and I think I'm going to want to do this one. And you keep it in for a while and before you bring the nail up to the surface make sure you clean up around the water. Make sure you clean up really really well guys. You have to clean up and get all that residue, the polish out. Clean it up completely before you bring it up. Because if you don't, you will have a bad, bad effect. The polish that was up top is going to come onto the nail. So make sure you clean up the surface. And then when you're done, you just bring it up and bam, look at that. And sometimes you will get water bubbles in the polish. Look at that. How you guys like that? See what I mean? Like a little water bubbles. Water bubbles. Water bubbles, but all you have to do is just let it dry a little and then apply your top coat. And each design can come out different or if you want it to be a pattern, just use the same one. So let's try it one more time. Okay. So let's try the blue first. And you can use any any color that you would like. I just chose the blue and yellow for you guys. And you know what? Did you guys see a little green in that? I saw a little green too. Because you know blue and yellow makes green. So you can test out your nail polish just before applying it to your nails. This sinful color and the pure ice works well in the water. So yes, this is my first time using the sinful color and the pure ice. This works well. And you just keep going until you make your bullseye how you want it to be. Like I say, you can use three to four different colors. It's up to your preference. And once you're finished, like I said, you just get your toothpick. And let's go from the this side. Really, really cool. So that's a lot on that. So I'm going to go in and take it and wipe the toothpick off. And I'm going to swirl it in. And I'm going to take the white nail and I'm going to find a design which I would like to let's see let's see let's go for let's go for this one and again you put it in and you clean up around the edges of the water and you could blow the more you blow to it, it gets 
it gets um it dries up but you have to clean up this surface before taking your nail out because if you don't you would get all of that and your manic is horrible and there we go so you have two different see you have two different designs like I say it depends on how you swirl it in and you can get two different designs so I hope this was helpful for you guys who's trying to do the water marble. The water marble has been out like forever ago. But you guys wanted to to see how I water marble and this is what I this is how I do it. But like taking my natural nails, like I said again, I would take scotch tape, a masking tape and I would apply it around my nail. Or you can use the, um, the, what did I just tell you guys? Oh, I cannot think of it. But anyway, you can use that and it goes around your, it goes around your cuticle and it keeps from the polish coming onto your skin. So I need to purchase some of that myself. But again, I hope you like it and if you're new to my channel welcome I hope you just I hope you subscribe hit that notification bell so you can catch all my videos out there latex that's what it is latex it comes like in a bottle and you just apply it around your cuticles and it just peels off you just really need but yeah hope you guys enjoy it Try it out and let me know how you feel about it. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Until then, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.